In this video, I'm going to share with you my very first Excel VBA game. This is based on the popular Netflix series Squid Game Glass Bridge. If you want to know how I build this game, just stick around and watch until the very end of this video. As we know, Squid Game is so popular, that's why I thought of creating a game in Excel. So the instruction of this game is so simple. You just need to cross the bridge by jumping to one of the next uh, two next glass platforms. Uh, to save the player, you must click the right glass or surely you will be eliminated. So to better understand how the system works, when you click new game, an auto-generated number will be assigned to each cell. Uh, so to show you this, I'm going to display the value right now. So let me put this in design mode and then click this cell. Yeah, so I'm going to change this into general so that everyone, you will be able to see the numbers. So let me try to click this one again, the new game. Then you can see that the, the numbers are being changed. So you don't have any idea what will be the number in here. So if you click the value of one, then your player will be saved. Otherwise, the player will be eliminated. So let's go now to reference tab where you can see our controllers. Here in M column, this will determine if the player is still up for playing. We also have um, in cell B2, which says our um, current player. If the player chose, uh, chosen the wrong glass, the value in here will be changed to zero. Then the current player will also be changed. So let's try this one. And you can see that uh, this has been changed from 096 to player 308. In this table, uh, this will be our control for moving the object whether if the player is going left, right, or just simply moving up. We also have another table here which determines the right row per level. If the player chose uh, a different row which is not matching to his current level, then the player will again be eliminated. So going back to Squid Game Worksheet, so we can see some controls here. So we have new game, as I mentioned earlier, and also we have these instructions. So, so we also have here the, the numbers of uh, players remaining in the game as well as the current player. In here, we can see later on um, the eliminate, eliminated players piling up on a queue. So let's go now to our Visual Basic Editor. So in our Squid Game worksheet, we can see some controls here. So this um, Squid Game worksheet controls our game assigning value to our help helper tables, which I showed you uh, just a while ago. 
So this section refers to 0 to 1. While this area from this area to, uh, to this area, to this section, to this section, um, it actually refers to level 1 to 10, where you can see we have several if statements here and variables uh, to avoid long coding. Here we can also see some user forms that we have used from form loss, form next, um, form welcome, which will automatically open once you open this workbook. We also have this uh, form once you completed the game. And lastly, if you have stepped into the wrong glass, uh, you will see this user form. So for the modules, so we simply have module one to show the form, form welcome. So for module two, this actually assigns the random value of zero to one, which determines the right or wrong glass in our game. So for module three, this is actually dedicated to control our movement for our objects going to left, right, or simply going up. We need to place a lot of loop statements uh, here to hold our arrays. We also have assigned VLOOKUP um, function here to extract the right row for the current level. And finally, for our module four, this will automatically place our eliminated players into queue, which I will show you later once we play. So now that we have a brief background of our coding, we are now ready to play.